guys. So it's the beginning of September, which on a side note, how is it already September? I'm kind of in shock right now because I feel like it was just New Year's not too long ago and this year is just flying by. But anyways, um, my shock aside, jumping into my August favorites, I have some stuff that I've been loving this past month, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into everything. So starting off with hair, I have been loving the Garnier Fruit Teas Fortifying Pure Clean Shampoo. I got this at Ulta because I needed a new clarifying shampoo, and I wasn't really sure how it was going to work, but I ended up just loving it. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this every single day because it is very very clarifying so I feel like if you use this every day your hair would just get super dry and brittle but this is great to use if you have like some product built up in your hair or your natural oils have just built up in your hair but I would follow up with a really good conditioner if you're using this shampoo another hair product I've been loving is the Batiste dry shampoo and this is in the floral and flirty blush scent and it just works really well so it absorbs any excess oil on your scalp and um, it just makes your hair very voluminous and it smells really good and it really does feel like you just washed your hair which is awesome because I don't wash my hair every single day I like to give my hair a break so I'll wait like a day or two in between washes and this is just a great thing to get you through those couple of days but I do have to say that this comes out white on my hair and since I have darker hair um, I really have to make sure that I'm brushing thoroughly through my hair to make sure that there isn't any white residue left. And then moving on into makeup, I have been super impressed with the Essence Cover Stick. Um, my Ulta recently started selling Essence products, which is awesome because I've been wanting to try them ever since I saw Emily Noel 83 talk about the little concealer trio that she uses. And they didn't have that at Ulta, but they did have this cover stick, so I decided to try this out, and I love it. It's an amazing concealer. It covers up the hyperpigmentation on my face. It covers up blemishes, and it works really well underneath the eyes, too. I was really impressed, because usually with stick concealers, I don't like using them underneath my eyes. Oh, by the way, I wear the shade Matte Beige, in case you are wondering. And then, I have my Naked Palette here again. Again, because I have been in love with the Naked palette and I use this so much while I was in London because it's just really easy to travel with and my favorite color this month has been Virgin so it's the color here on the end and it's a very light highlight color that I really really like because it's not too shimmery so it's not as shimmery as MAC nylon but it does have a little bit of um, a satin finish to it so there is a slight sheen which brings light and luminosity to your eye area and I'm wearing it on my brow bone today and a little bit on the inner part of my eyelid and I just love it and I also have a little surprise for you guys. I'm sneaking in a little surprise giveaway here in the middle of the video. Because I've been loving my Naked palette so much recently, I'm going to be giving away one to one of you guys. And all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to both of my channels. So this one and then my vlog channel, which is The Grid Monster. And I'll link my um, vlog channel down below for you guys. But all you have to do is tell me in the comments what your favorite thing this month has been. So whatever you've been loving in August, it can be a beauty thing, a fashion thing, a food item, whatever you want, it's totally up to you. And um, after two weeks, I will pick a winner randomly from the comments. So that's all you have to do and you can win a Naked palette. And I've just been so in love with my Naked palette. I've seriously just used it so much this past summer. So moving on, um, I have a NYX blush in Pinched right here and ooh, can't open it. There we go. I talked about this in my last video and I'm just so in love with this blush right now. This has become my new favorite blush. It's a very peachy pink color with a little bit of golden shimmer in it and it reminds me a lot of um, NARS Deep Throat and Orgasm. It's kind of like the middle ground to me and this is just the perfect color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and it just brings a natural radiance to your face. And so. then I have a mascara here. This is the Maybelline 1x1 Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. 
and ooh, that was a little bit of a mouthful to say. I like ran out of breath saying that. This is like in between Maybelline The Falsies and Maybelline's Mega Plush Mascara, which I love both of those, but this is like the middle mascara in between those two. And I like this because it volumizes my lashes and it makes them look more dramatic than the Mega Plush but not as dramatic as the falsies. So this is a great daytime mascara. It doesn't smudge on me. So the brush on this is very rounded and it allows you to get every single lash and it separates very, very well. I'd say that this is much more separating than the falsies and it really just defines every single lash while volumizing at the same time. So I've really been loving this. And then I have some lip products here. For lipstick, I have been wearing the YSL Rouge Volupt Number no. 1 pretty regularly um, during the daytime just because this is a beautiful, like, creamy pink color. It reminds me a little bit of a matte cream cup, but it's not quite as pink. And then on top of that lipstick, I've been wearing the NYX Perfect Lip Gloss, which is another color that I have on today. And this is a sheer pink with some sparkle in it, and this is just so beautiful. I've been so happy with all of the NYX lip glosses I've tried because they're just amazing. And this is a great color to wear over a nude lipstick, or if you just want a little bit of shine on your lips, this is a great color to wear on its own because it is quite sheer, so you're not going to get a ton of color out of it, but I love the sparkle that it brings to your lips. And then the last beauty product I have here is definitely, I would say, my favorite out of everything this month because I've been so, so obsessed with this color. This is Orly Glow Stick and it's what I've been wearing on my nails in my past couple videos and people have been asking me what I've been wearing and it's been this color. It is so amazing. It's this bright fluorescent yellow and I have been looking for the perfect, perfect fluorescent yellow color but I just couldn't find the right formulation. Sometimes they would be too sheer, other times they would be really gloopy and hard to work with, but this is just the perfect bright neon in your face fluorescent yellow and I'm so happy with it. Um, I like using a white base underneath just to make the color pop a little bit more, but you can totally get away with this on its own. It looks amazing on its own as well. So those are all of my beauty favorites this month. And now for fashion favorites, I have been loving blazers. And I'm wearing one of my favorites right now. This is one from Daily Look that I got a few months ago. I'll stand up so you guys can see it a little bit better. But I got this a few months ago and I really, really love this color. It's like a mint green. And the reason why I've been liking blazers so much is because I really like the tailored look of them, but I also like how they keep me warm without making me too hot. So it's really been perfect for the evenings recently because I don't want something that's too heavy, but I don't want a super light sweater either because then I'll get cold because I'm usually wearing shorts. So I've really been loving like shorts and blazers together. I think it's just like a really fun look. So I've been loving this blazer because I love the mint green color and then I've also been loving this one that I got from Zara. I really love the versatility of blazers because you can go with a dark color or white and create a polished or more of an edgier look and then you can also go with a brighter color like this one and add a nice pop of color to an outfit. So they're just really fun things to have in your wardrobe and very versatile too. I looked on the Zara website for this blazer and I couldn't find it but I did look on the Daily Look site and I couldn't find this exact blazer in this color, but they do have this same exact cut, but in different colors. So I think they had pink and coral. So I'll put that the I'll put that link down below if you guys want to go and see the other colors. So those are all of my favorites and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see my random favorites I did my grid loves video over on my vlog channel so I'll link that down below if you want to see me talking about food that I've been loving and like apps and nuggets favorites and just a bunch of random stuff. So that will be down below if you want to go and watch that. Don't yeah. forget to enter the Naked Palette giveaway if you want to win the Naked Palette. I'll put the rules down below in the information bar so you guys can read over everything again. But they're super simple. So yeah, I hope you all are doing really well and I will see you guys later.
Bye.